Uh, I played saxophone uh, all through school, high school and college. And my daddy called me, Clifton Shamir called me. Uh, he wanted me to play saxophone in his band. So uh, that was really my introduction to Zydeco when I was 20 years old playing saxophone with Clifton Shamir in the band. You know, in the U.S., there's a lot of Zydeco influence, and uh, there's a lot of Zydeco organizations, uh -huh. and a lot of times they'll have like a bunch of Zydeco bands together. And Steve Riley and myself, we really, we really, a lot of these things we play together. Uh, I stay a lot. I stay. Uh, I stay up north a lot. I stay out in New York, all the way over. You know. Uh, Chicago and all that stuff. I, I travel a lot, you know. I, I always travel. That's what my daddy did. When I got in a band with him, he traveled. We played Louisiana too, but he traveled because you have to bring the music to the people. Because Zydeco is still not a mainstream music. Mm. So in order to spread it around so people can hear it, you got to travel. Mm. So I don't mind traveling, going here and going there, you know, so we can get the people to know what Zydeco is. We know already Zydeco and dance, or uh, an audience that want to discover and just stay straight and listen? No, it's, it's a mixture. It's an audience that don't know Zydeco, don't know how to two-step, but they still want to dance. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so they get out there to do anything. Because when you play Zydeco, all dances fit. <laughs> 